back like we never left BDA and I really wanted to touch on this topic, all right? People have made assumptions and there's some people that are really on the other side of the fence where they're like, there's no way. What I'm talking about is Zoro having Conqueror's Hockey, which I believe it's kind of definitive, and you can say for sure that I'm certain that Zora has conquered Hawk. There are some instances which can back up my claim, which the first instance I would mention is when Zora said, if he couldn't at least knock out this much, I'd have to become the captain. Now, I ask the question. If Luffy could not use Conqueror's Hockey, if he could not knock out 50,000, and Zora could not knock out 50,000, is Zora then stronger than Luffy? Can Zora definitively say, I'd have to become captain? No way. Like, that doesn't signify strength if Zoro cannot do that. But if Zoro can knock out 40,000 and Luffy knocked out 20,000, that gives you a gauge of their strength. So, therefore, I believe Zoro was saying that, indicating that, listen, Luffy, you can do that, but I can do this. I can do at least this much. So, if you cannot knock out more than me, then you don't deserve to be my captain. We see back then, this is an old clip, with Luffy versus Zoro, we see the animation for Haki. And now, a lot of people say, you know, a lot of the anime, they add filler. You can use the anime as a point of reference in different situations. I believe this is one of those situations where Luffy and Zoro clashed and you saw the animation for Haki. Another instance is the Monet situation. Now, now before you jump down my throat, pause. Let me explain what I mean by the Monet thing. Now, a lot of people say that Zoro did not use Conqueror's Haki versus Monet. She was intimidated by the fact that this guy was that powerful and he could kill at any time. Now, while I do agree there, I do also think that there is a form of hockey that was involved. Intimidation means to make others afraid, to fill with fear to do what you want. Conqueror's hockey is exerting your will over others. Now, while I don't believe that Zora used the purest form of Conqueror's hockey, I do believe this was a variation of it where He's not going to knock you out, but he is going to freeze you in fear. Where Luffy is the purest form of Haki, where he will knock you out. I do plan on doing a theory about this as far as the variations of Haki and how Haki have different levels and all this lead to the purest form. For right now, let's stay on the intimidation. And I believe that Zoro used a variant form of King's Haki, which he just intimidates you with fear and his willpower. With all these instances and examples that I gave, you can say, well, that still doesn't mean this guy has hot key. We can go to One Piece and the story we've seen and how One Piece is a story of parallels, right? And the parallel to the Straw Hat Pirates that we've seen is the Roger Pirates. So in the Roger Pirates, you can assume that Goldie Roger can use Conqueror's hotkey. And it's confirmed and we have seen Silver's Rayleigh use Conqueror's hotkey. And Silver's Rayleigh was... Goldie Rogers' first mate, and cut the bullshit, Zora is Luffy's first mate. Zora is the immediate parallel to Rayleigh. So, Luffy has to surpass Yonko, right? He has to surpass Yonko to become the Pirate King and be atop that mountain. And Zora, as his right-hand man, has to be at least as strong as a Yonko or fairly close to a Yonko. And I believe that Zora is going to be on Rayleigh's level. And a lot of these qualities that we've seen Rayleigh have, Zoro will have as well. I, I believe Sanji could probably develop Conqueror's Hockey, or maybe he does have it already. Zoro's eye, we, he hasn't opened his eyes yet. So, because Rayleigh does have the same scar. And again, One Piece is a story about parallels. We see them all the time. And it's about passing on your will. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think Zora has hockey or not? I, I laid my examples out. I, t I told you what I thought about it. Do you think this makes sense with Zoro having King's hockey? I think it's no question that Rono Zoro has hockey already. Like, I believe it's clear as day that this guy has hockey. But let me know what you think. Do you think he has hockey? Or do you think it's bullshit? But again, um, let me know what you think. Like the video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.